I. I scream, you scream, we all I'll scream, scream for I ice cream. cream. On this beat of chaos with Edie's Slow Churn Classic Vanilla. Uh, this was another recommendation from a while back to do with the Edie's Slow Churn flavors, and I felt like we would just go with the boring classic vanilla first. <laughs> well, and it's for the same thing I said for the cake video. I'm not going to get 15 All at once. You know, gallons of <laughs> ice cream. Well, man. Well, his diabetes makes that. That is an edible. Beat it to the chase. Like so. Hold on. Print it and get as much as. Alright. Get it So what is your, like, opinion of Edie's? Do you have one? Or? I mean, I just get ice cream and... I, I mean, there's it. not, like... I mean, I eat a lot of different ice creams. I mean, there's people that eat more ice cream than me. I don't... Like, there's not, like, a brand of ice cream that I immediately, like, wow, that's the best ice cream. I like, don't... Yeah, I don't have a... Like, even, like... Getting like Kroger brand ice cream is usually pretty good. This is the half the fat one I saw. Well, there wasn't like a full with fat yeah. one, so this is like. I mean, I just. It tastes like vanilla ice cream. In the case that I was there, I saw six slow churned flavors. There might be more than that. It tastes vaguely freezer burnt. I know it's not, but it tastes vaguely freezer burnt. I mean, this tastes like any other vanilla ice cream I've ever had in my life. And they also had French vanilla and vanilla bean, which I guess we'll explore at some point. But what what are the differences between those kinds of vanilla? I mean, I guess vanilla bean, they just got like... Vanilla bean, I know that it usually means that they scrape the vanilla straight out of the bean and it's usually a much more pronounced vanilla flavor um and french vanilla french is more vanilla. coffee creamer-esque okay yeah i would say and french vanilla is usually creamier okay well that's good information today we offer Edie's slow churned light ice cream a reimagined way to delight your whole family Wholesome ingredients like non-fat milk churn together to create rich, creamy deliciousness that just happens to be half the fat. By simply combining the best ingredients, we've proudly created some delicious family favorites. It just tastes like vanilla ice cream. I mean, if it's half the fat, then like other ones, then I guess that's good. It's I don't... tasty. I mean, I'm just going to go with a basic like 7 out of 10 because I don't... It tastes cream. like ice cream to me. I mean... I mean, it's got, like, a pretty good consistency to it, I guess. I mean, if I'm just going to eat straight ice cream, th this would be a really good ice cream to put on a brownie sundae. Or um, on, or, on warm pie. Mm. This is, and I think we said this before, a good base for a more exciting dessert. But, like, as a family, if we're going to buy ice cream to just eat, we buy crazy flavors like Snickers or or New York cheesecake brownie. or brownie or. I mean, I would get this and then get like a Hershey's like chocolate squirt, you know, or strawberry, you know, something else. To... I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. I just that's how our family rolls, and I'm not saying it's bad at all. I'm just saying I'm now craving like a brownie and like some chocolate and some. You want something more exciting than what this is. Yeah. Well, and I mean, I think that probably the vanilla bean will trip my trigger because I love vanilla bean ice cream because it has a really and the, screaming vanilla flavor. And the French vanilla might bring something else to the table there. So. Yeah, I mean, I think there's other flavors that we're going to be a little more excited about. But I wanted to start with the so. most basic one. Just because, you know, we were, if we were going to do these, so... 7 out of 10. Um, great Agreed. base flavor. Um, I like the idea that it's it's less fat. Um, let me see the other. We're still looking at 23 grams of sugars, though. Um, <laughs> he did nothing. Shh. 
had a problem. Anyway, go on. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 still high in sugar. I mean, it's still it's still a dessert. I, I you, you got rid of some of the fat, but it's still a dessert. So, Bottom line. And I don't know. Maybe we'll you know find <gasps> we out in do the root beer floats. That's delicious. Or the red ones, pink cow. Yeah, that that's a uh, yeah. definitely. Just get root beer. Yeah, the pink ones are great too. Uh, this is okay. I don't know if it's better or worse than other vanillas. I'd have to taste the others. So, like and subscribe, and we'll be coming at you with some more Edie's slow churn goodness. We will see you guys later. Bye bye.